middleweight bout, Mr. Ricardo Henderson Mr. versus Mr. Ken Teasy. Ricardo's a guy we've seen a couple times now, and he's improved each time. The first time he was 100% independent, then he got with Henzo Gracie Latham for his second fight, and here he is for his third fight, and he's gotten better each time. I'm looking forward to seeing what he brings to the cage. I'm not 100% familiar with his opponent. What do you know about his opponent? You know, Ken Kyle? Peasy is coming in this fight at 0-3. He's another guy who's looking to get a, you know, his first victory in his career. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot about where he's fighting out of, but you know, his last three fights are some tough ones. You know, losing to a guy down on Long Island, losing to Liram uh, Ruf Rufati. Um, you know, just some tough wins for all three fights at ECF, another promotion down in New York City. Not one of the uh, higher promotions in the area, kind of a low-level one. So tr kind of curious to see how he does with a guy from Cage Wars. So now we got no shin guards, my favorite time in the night. Absolutely, and this is, like you said, the first fight of the night without shin guards. So now we're allowed to ground and pound to the head, but still no elbows, no uh, knees to the head throughout this entire fight. Knees to the body are acceptable in ground and pound, though, in, the, in these bouts. Indeed. Ricardo Henderson, also known as Porsche Truck Rock. Also known as what? Porsche Truck Rock on Facebook, and he's, and he's also a rap artist. Oh, really? Yeah, he does music, man. Oh, I didn't pretty that. good, yeah. I have to check it out. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> I was bobbing my head a little bit. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, Ricardo Henderson changing up the, the shorts this time, too, getting a little more playful. He's got the Laker shorts going. Oh, nice. Little, uh, little, little tribute to Kobe Bryant, possibly. RIP to him and the rest of the people uh, that lost their lives on that horrific uh, accident. We're going to bring it up to the ring announcer, Mike Falvo. Our next bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. It is in our middleweight division. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. Standing six feet, one inches tall, weighing 180 pounds. Representing untouchable boxing. Out of Liberty, New York, he's known as Baby Brazil Campitzi. And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, representing the Henzo Gracie Academy, standing six feet tall, weighed in yesterday 180 pounds. Out of Latham, New York, Porsche Truck Rock, Ricardo Henderson. And the man in charge of the action at the sound of the bell, Mr. Steve Ward. Here we go. <laughs> New referee for this fight, Steve Ward. So again, Ken Peasy in the blue corner with the blue tape on his wrist. Ricardo Henderson with the red tape on his wrist. Nice job avoiding that jab. A lot of movement between these two. A lot of changing levels. A lot of head movement. A feeling out process for sure. Absolutely, as you can see, a lot of a lot of like faint jabs where nothing's landing. Well, you know, in Ricardo's last fight, I mentioned that I'd like to see him work off of a jab more. Hey, so he's getting to that once again. He's listening to you. But I'd like to see him keep his hands up and pull it out there a few times. You know, double that jab up. Yeah. So you know, how important is that though when you throw those jabs constantly, like one, two, three? When you know someone fakes and then they come back, they're getting caught, aren't they? Absolutely, and you're coming forward. It's a straight line. See, Ricardo's bringing the hand back down to his waist, which Ken Peasy can take advantage of that. He can follow that jab back with an overhand right. Yeah, because how much time is that going to take from your hip to your face to protect it? Exactly. 
and I, I feel like Ken Pizzi's trying to find that distance right now. Ricardo's looking for that big, big hand, right hand. He's gotta set that up though, as you can see, he's a southpaw. Ricardo's very comfortable, so is Ken Pizzi. Ken Pizzi keeps trying to throw a couple kicks, just missing. Well, you, can, you know, you gotta respect Ricardo Henderson's power. Yep. There's one. And you hear Ken Pizzi's corner talking about Ricardo's hands being low. They want their athletes to take advantage of it. They're saying, bring the kick from low to high. They're saying, bring the kick upstairs. Oh, they missed with nice the punch. Nice catch and punch. Ricardo's got the back of Pizzi. Now he's coming out of a boxing gym. Let's see what he's got for ground. They did a good job dragging him back. Although PZ's doing a great job with a two-on-one right now. Holding, oh, nice, nice knee. knee. Oh. Improvising, look at that. Love those knees right there. See, and that's the problem when you accept the position. You're letting your opponent do what they want. Yep. Two-on-one is good, but then what are you going to do after you get the two-on-one? Yeah, you got to move. He's getting overwhelmed right now. He's got to get to the feet. Wow, and he's got a deep. Oh, it looked like it was deep for a second. It's Ken Pizzi throws him over his shoulder, and he comes back out to a uh, perpendicular Ten, angle. 30 seconds left. Oh, nice knee, what a nice monster knee. knee to the ribs. Wow. Wow, that's got to hurt. It's going for the neck. Wow, with seconds left in this round. Can Ricardo end it? As we can see right here on the screen, it doesn't look that deep. Wow. Wow, good round for Ricardo Henderson. Got to go 10-9 Henderson on that round. Absolutely, strong round for him. Now, if you're in the corner of Peasy, what are you telling him? I would be telling him exactly what his corner was saying. Go upstairs with that kick. Take advantage of the fact that Ricardo's got his hands down 90% of the time. Follow that jab back in. When he throws that jab back out, he brings it back to his waist. Follow him in with the right hand. Now you're in over here in, Rick, uh, in excuse, Ricardo Henderson's corner. Is there anything you're going to adjust? Keep your goddamn hands up. That's, That's what I would adjust. Thing, right? Keep your hands up. Double the jab up. But other than that, he's doing a nice job. Yeah, I think he's done a phenomenal job as well. Double the jab up and keep your hands up. You know, it's a risk versus reward thing. In this sport, everything can change in a second in the blink of an eye. Here we go, Steve Ward telling everyone to get out. Round two is about to begin. All right, again, Ken Peasy in the blue corner, Ricardo Henderson in the Here red we corner, go. go round two. USMTA is the third party sanctioning body for tonight's event. Yeah, once again, that hand is dropping to his hip. And actually, you know, it's my fault. Ricardo's a southpaw, so Ken would have to follow him in with an overhand left or a left hook. But it's doable, I think. Oh, it 100% it is, but you got to time it correctly. And right now, he's not taking advantage of it. I don't know if he doesn't see it or he's just respecting Ricardo's power. And right now, he's got to make Ricardo respect his power. Oh, right there. You can see Ricardo's changing stance. Something that's much more common these days that, that was not even four or five years ago. Ooh. Now, the thing, you know, you see Peasy, he's the orthodox striker, left hand forward, Ricardo has a right hand forward. When you go for that rear leg roundhouse, it can end up in the groin. It, went, it was close there. So that's yeah. something PZ's really got to be careful of. Nice overhand left by Ricardo, or overhand right by Ricardo. And if you're a southpaw, that's one of your major weapons. I just didn't like the way Ricardo ended it after he threw that, those two strikes. He kind of like walked away almost, like turned himself. And again, there's some inexperience there. You know, he just got with, with his camp, you know, this last fight before this one. Before that, he was an independent fighter and a street fighter. Big strides, will. though. Yes. Continual growth and evolution, that's the key. And he's showing that. It's 
Both fighters clinching against the cage right now. Ricardo Henderson's got the underhook as PZ's trying to work two overhooks. Ricardo's hooks. got the double underhooks. Yeah, now he does, yeah. Those are important. Now, you know, if I was Ricardo, I'd get my head under Ken's and, and suck it in. But if you're going to work the overhooks, you got to get them higher. you got to put your hands up there real high. PZ's struggling to get out of this position and get out of the clinch. Ricardo's a strong guy, and his grappling acumen has has raised. You know, it's it's not that uh, it's not that. Ooh, ooh that big was knee, knee to the head. head. You cannot throw knee to the head. That big knee to the head could cost him, depending on how PZ feels. Well, Ricardo Henderson was having a great round up until that knee. Stephen James explaining to Ricardo what's going on. Ricardo's trying to rebuke, but either way, you cannot need to the face, period. The so referee gives him a warning, tells him, next one, I'm taking points. Or possible disqualification. You know, that's important, though. At amateur level, a knee can be devastating to this face. It could change a whole fighter's career. You know, and also, if you are one of these young men or women that want to go pro, you have to learn how to control yourself and your body in the cage. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's not the referees or anyone else's job to, you know, to stop you from doing it. You have to control yourself. I give Ken Peasy a lot of credit. He didn't try to suck it up. He didn't try to maximize time. He didn't look for an easy way out of the fight. No, he got right back in and reloaded. And <coughs> once the ref came back over to him, I'm good to go. You know, because some athletes, you know, might look for an easy way out. Yeah, absolutely. And, you and be the, justified because he got kneed in the face. You had the 10-second warning. Now we got a brawl, though. We got get some good action to end that round. I'll tell you what, right now, a brawl is going to favor Ricardo Henderson, and, and here's why. I mean, A, he's kind of a, from a brawling background as it is, but if you notice there, the whole time Ken Pizzi was brawling with him, Ken Pizzi's eyes were towards the floor. Not, not good. And our beautiful shenanigans cage girls bringing the third round in. Next time I hear shenanigans, someone's going to get pistol whipped. I love that movie. That was uh, Super Troopers, right? Yes, Super Troopers. Good they one. filmed that right near where I went to school in Vermont. Well, yeah? Yep. Right out, right that's, on the main road there. That's a great movie. It is. Super Troopers 2 is good. I didn't see that one yet. It was good. It was different. It was good. Have you seen the new 1917 movie? No. I want to see that. I hear it's phenomenal. Yeah, I've not even really heard about You're it. Not a war movie? No? You haven't nah. seen it? You're not a war movie person? Nah. Oh, I love war movies. All right, here we go, Mr. Stephen James getting ready to get this round started. How do you have this right now? I have two rounds for uh, Ricardo Henderson. As do I. Now, that could have changed if he had that point taken away. Absolutely, yeah. That, you know, that knee to the head, like I said, could have been a real game changer. And not for him. Ricardo getting excited. He, he wants to he oh, finish this. Big rights right there to, by Ricardo Henderson. Ricardo's almost angry about it. <clears throat> wow. He's talking to him as well. Yeah, he's, he's saying, chirping. come on, let's go. See, that's what I was talking about before, that kick. Orthodox versus Southpaw. I don't know if it really hit him, though. I, I wonder Oh, no, it didn't, but I just mean it's always there. No, but Ricardo looked like he was trying to like tell the ref he hit me in the nuts, but... I don't think it was even close, and the ref's on top of it saying, yeah, keep fighting. And, you know, you can get barely touched in the groin and, and not have to stop the fight. I mean, really, it's up to the referee, and it's got to be something that's going to, to damage you or cause harm. It's only recent in, like, the professional level where you see the fighters pull away, and the ref will be like, oh, all right, well, let's me t let me take a time out for you. Now, PZ's working him back towards the cage. I would not have let Ricardo back to the center of the cage. I would have Absolutely kept him not. with his back to the cage, try to get him to square up. Nice catch of the kick. He's got the neck. Ricardo's going for the slam. Wow. Oh, big, big slam, slam by Ricardo Henderson. He's smiling. Look at him. He's happy. He loves this. Wow. He's in his element right now. Big shot. He's got to do something right now. PZ's got to do something. Oh, whoa. Oh, good job. He's got to do something, though. Wow. Ricardo's got to watch back of the head. Yeah, absolutely. A couple close ones, but great job right there what a takedown 90 seconds left if it keeps up like this pz is not going to last around he better get out of this position 
Still working that two on one from the bottom, but he's got to put it over the other side of his head and, and then stand do up with it. with it. Exactly. Don't just stay there on all four points. Well, when you're able to put that on the other side of your head, then you can circle out because you know he can't hit you with it. I mean, I guess these are said than done on the outside for us, but you know. But hey, when you got a two on one, you should have the strength there. Absolutely. All right, coming up on one minute left. Final 60 seconds. So far, Ricardo Henderson is Big dominating shots. this round. Yeah, he's definitely owning this. He's taking this fight away from PZ. He's looking for another slam as PZ's trying to run away. Wow. It wasn't Big. much of a slam, but he took him down. But he's strong. He he had he was at a mechanical disadvantage, and he still slammed him. Yep. So it just shows the strength of Ricardo Henderson. Now he's looking to advance in the mountain, and right he does. Right into it real easy. 30 seconds PZ's left. PZ's really struggling. Yeah, PZ looks like he's at the end of the rope. Referee's telling them to watch the back of the head. I don't know why PZ's really arguing. He was taking a lot of shots right there and a lot of punishment. And, and again, this is amateur mixed martial arts. You have to intelligently defend yourself. And again, they're not going to let you get killed. You're not fighting for a career here right now. You're not getting paid. No. Absolutely. You know, I think that's a good decision by this referee. You know, PZ was taking a ton of shots leading up to that. And at that point, he wasn't really intelligently defending himself. Called the fight. Good call by the referee. Very good call by the referee. And like you said, if it kept that way, we we're going to get an end in the first in the, the round. All right, Ricardo Henderson, big win for him. Absolutely, moves to, uh, what was it, two and one now. Two and one now, yep, two and one. Waiting for the final announcement from Mike Falvo. Yeah, we're gonna wait just a moment as he's tallying up the, uh, count, picking out the time. You know, and, we're gonna, and there'll be a, a short break intermission until we hit our main card after this fight. As you have Ricardo Henderson chanting Kobe. What's he ch Oh, Kobe. Kobe, yes. Yeah, he's got his shorts definitely in memory of Kobe Bryant. For a Bryant. second, I thought he was saying Colby, like Colby Covington. Like, what? Yeah, and I don't think anyone here is chanting no, for Colby Covington. No, that's why I was confused. And we're going to throw up to the official decision, Mike Falvo. Referee Steve Ward has called a stop to the fight at 2 minutes, 33 seconds into the third round. For your winner, Porsche Truck Rock, Ricardo Henderson. Good show of sportsmanship by both men. We're going to get a quick interview with Ben Fields and Porsche Truck Rock. Absolutely. I really, I'm not sure what I just saw. You get so much better with each performance. It looks like you've been doing this for years, Ricardo. I can't believe just how technical you look. The hands look phenomenal. Were you training more of the boxing versus the jiu-jitsu on this camp? Um, I definitely trained more on the jiu-jitsu side, but I box every day. Come on, trainer smooth. He's impeccable with his hands. He's getting my hands greater and greater every day. Tommy, Cole, Chris, these guys are monsters teaching me techniques and submissions, using my body, and just my, what I really prepared, how I prepared for this fight was just endurance, to make sure I don't get tired, and it just showed right here, I didn't get tired, a little worked up, but still had a lot of energy. I want to shout out Henzo Gracie for helping me develop my skills to become a better fighter. I want to thank Tommy, Cole, Chris, my uncles, Boogaloo, Brian, Mumu, I want to shout out all my supporters, everybody that comes here and watch me fight. I appreciate you guys sincerely, genuinely from my heart. I appreciate you guys. Keep watching me, and, and I'm going to keep giving you guys a performance. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys all so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Ricardo Henderson Porsche Truck Rock.